Nicole Spence here. All right, so I am out here in Texas and we are headed to, I'm headed about 30 minutes up the road to meet up with the people that I'm going to the first ranch. And then we have about a two and a half hour drive from there. And I'm going after access today. And tomorrow we have an amazing hog hunt set up with our um, Pulsar night vision and thermal, thermal um, scopes. So pretty excited about that. Uh, and there's a lot more to come, so stay tuned guys. Hope you enjoy this video. As you can tell, I am loaded down. We got my box right there that has all my hunting gear. I actually um, already washed everything before I left and just stuck it right in there. You have to keep it in a closed container with scent free because the deer can actually smell you. My target, I've got a few rifles and a shotgun, my bow, my tar um, bow target, morel targets, all back there. We are loaded down and ready to go. Um, I'm a one woman operation over here. So <laughs> going across Texas, um, hitting up different ranches and hunting different game and harvesting. Can't wait to have, bring home all this deer meat and hog meat uh, to bring back for the bed and breakfast back to Venice, Louisiana. So, okay, so I'm out here in Texas and I've been driving. Yesterday I drove about, it was like 10 hours, but it took me like 16 because I had to stop for a couple hours and sleep because I'd pulled an all nighter the night before, getting um, all my calendars signed and um, basically all my calendars signed and in envelopes and mailed out yesterday. So now I'm finally made it to Texas and then drove an, an extra three hours to finally the first ranch. Oh, and yes, guys, I'm driving the bins, off-roading in the bins. So uh, we just arrived to the first ranch and that's the owner right there, I just met him. Um, we uh, are going to be targeting Axis deer today and we're actually going to hunt today because Axis are not like whitetail. Whitetail is more of like a morning or evening hunt and Axis are exotics. So they actually kind of move around all day long type of thing. So it's a little warm. It's 70 degrees. You can see there, it's 70. But um, it's a little warm out. So, but he did say he saw some moving and we saw a bunch of whitetail on the way in, just like cruising down um, this back road as we're coming into the ranch. So got my tags or I just got my hunting license and everything at Walmart before we headed out here. Super pumped to be out here. I haven't been to Texas in two years. Really excited to harvest um, an axis and some hogs. And then I'm gonna be going after some whitetail as well in the next couple days, but with a different group. So guys, super excited, stay tuned. I'm really happy to be out here and I hope you enjoy this video. All right. Finally arriving. All right, we finally arrived. Look at this. Pretty cool. It's been like two years since I've been to Texas, so I'm pretty pumped to be back out here. Wow. Thank you, Prime One Camo. I love all this stuff. Cute little jacket. Look at this. Fuzzy on the inside. All right, so I just got dressed, got my clothes on, and we're getting the, making sure the gun is all sighted in. 
where both me and his wife are gonna shoot it a couple times. So they're shooting it. So I'm gonna take this axis with a rifle. Cabot, Texas. We're getting ready to take an axis hunt and a socket deer hunt and just see what happens. Uh, it's a little warm today, so. It is a little warm. <laughs> uh, not your typical hunting weather, especially in December, but it is South Texas. Well, Southwest Texas. So. Southwest Texas, yes, yeah. okay. Yeah, and it's what, December 14th, I believe 14th, today is? And it's going to be in the 70s today. Whew, it's a little warm. Still wearing long sleeve. Got this for later. A little bundle up. See what's going on. Just getting everything ready, and uh, we're about to head off, guys. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> Tree. So okay, what? Behind I just go with the scope. Yep. Wide of the neck. Oh, you smoked him! What a shot! You smoked him! Oh, there he is. That's okay. That's no, okay. that's the female. Oh my God, he's right there. Shot at. Can I pick him up by the did he break? One shot kill shot. And I shot from way way over there all through those bushes. And I could barely see him. Oh my god, what a beauty. Smoked his ass. <sighs> I'm super pumped. Um Thank you, Lord. I'm super blessed to have been able to take that uh, access. I'm really excited, and we are actually headed off for about a four hour and 40 minute drive to our next destination, which is going to be hog hunting this evening in another part of Texas. And we're gonna be using our pulsar night vision and thermal vision 
to get a bunch of hogs. Hogs are huge pests in the Texas area, so um, farmers really want us to take them out. And they're actually really great eating. So, and I, my access is in the back of the truck, which is in front of us, and it's getting taken to the processor so that I'm able to get the horns and head mounted. I'm turning the hide into either pillows or a pillows for my dad or possibly a purse for myself. And the meat is all getting processed and shipped back to me in Louisiana so that I am able to have deer meat in the freezer. So yes, that was a clean and good harvest. Every single part of that deer will be, every single part of that access will be used. So stay tuned guys for our next one.